chaotic scenes in the streets around Montparnasse train station. Even a massive police presence failed to stop a small group of protesters from wreaking havoc. Rioters joined traditional May Day demonstrators, who this year were out to voice their dissatisfaction with President Emmanuel Macron's economic policies. We're being crushed under the weight of taxes. Pensions have fallen. I went into retirement with a few savings, but now I have a lot less and can't make ends meet. Some criticized the police for their use of force. Stun grenades damage the ears and make you deaf, and tear gas doesn't distinguish between good and bad protesters. It destroys your lungs and bronchial tubes. Authorities were particularly wary about the so-called black bloc, masked and hooded anarchists bent on destroying what they see as capitalist symbols. Labour unions distanced themselves from the violent protesters, calling for peaceful May Day marches. But some in crowds were more forgiving. If you think about the violence the government is inflicting on us, what little violence we use amounts to absolutely nothing. It's just a warning sign. If we have to resort to that, it means that we don't have any other solution. Hundreds of shops and restaurants were closed as they braced for the unrest. Police also carried out preventive searches at major train stations and arrested dozens before rallies began.